Seasoned gardeners are probably familiar with the pros and cons of seeds and plugs. Seeds are cheaper but take longer to establish, while plugs will jumpstart your garden at a higher cost. But when you're planting a native pollinator garden, there are additional factors to consider. Seeds will have the most success if you plant in early spring or late fall. Plugs, on the other hand, can go into the ground anytime from early May to late September. If you decide to go with seeds, talk to your local nursery or read the care instructions to determine if special germination steps are required. Your soil should be completely free of grass and weeds prior to planting. Steer clear of herbicides though. Like pesticides, these chemicals can kill species beyond your target area and will be washed into nearby waterways during rainstorms. Instead, pull all existing plants by hand and then use conventional mulch and organic biodegradable paper to prevent future growth. Most Illinois soils have the nutrients needed to support native plants. If a soil test shows that additional nutrients are needed, consider using non-synthetic products like compost, which contains plenty of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. If you ever do apply fertilizers, herbicides, or pesticides, be sure to check the weather report first to ensure the chemicals won't be carried down the storm drains, which often deliver water untreated to local rivers and lakes. And sweep fertilizer from your sidewalks and driveway after applying. There's just one more step on your path to a pollinator-friendly native garden or landscape, the design. We'll introduce some simple native design and maintenance practices in the final episode of Planting for Pollinators.